my brothers and sisters the Lord. It's my honor and privilege to stand here before you to share the goodness of God. Uh, before we will start our, we will start our, for our uh, topic, let us pray first. Let us uh, ask the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you that you are God, God that gives us wisdom, protection, provision, strength. Lord, thank you that we are here to study your words. Lord, I pray that your servant this morning give him wisdom, cover him in your precious blood, hide him into your cross, Lord, so that your name be glorified and your name be lifted, be lifted up in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, before we proceed, uh, I cannot speak well in English, I have to be honest, because I came from the Philippines. We have uh, different lang lang dialects there. We have 86 different lang languages in different provinces. So me and my wi wi wife, we came from the province, and we have three dialects there. But from, 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 from now, we are in the city. Manila, the capital of the Philippines. So we can speak well Tagalog because Manila is the capital of the Philippines. All the people can speak uh, Tagalog. Right here in America, all the people speak English, but some of the people, they came from the different countries. They cannot speak well English like me. <laughs> so I hope you understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I know to speak uh, some, some kinds of dialects there. Whenever we, we go to different provinces, different towns, so I can speak different dialects there. So, our topics for today is, uh, before we start our topic, I have two questions. Whom of us became a Christian for, from, four to five, for, from four to ten years? Praise God. And my another question, number two. Whom of us believe that the Bible is the word of God? <laughs> Praise God. That's why we are here to study this word, because we believe that the Bible is the word of God. Okay. Our topic for today is about giving. I, giving is the part of our worship. In the Lord. In Romans 12 1, who can uh, read Romans 12 1? Okay, now there says. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reason of the first. Amen. Praise God. So, first is to give our Bodies mm -hmm. to present a living sacrifice to the Lord. That's why before we worship the Lord, we pray, Lord, I'm here to worship you. I know that you are uh, holy. I'm not holy. I'm uh, always uh, commit sin before you in thoughts, in words, in deed. Forgive me, Lord, so that I'm worthy to worship you. That is the first worship of the Lord. Amen? And number two is uh, giving our talent to the Lord. What kind of talent that God give us, gave us to us, we give to the Lord. Singing, Amen. if you know how to sing. Piano, if you know how to play piano, organ, uh, guitar, we give to the Lord. Amen. That's a part of our worship to the Lord. And number three, this is our topic about giving our treasure to the Lord. Can you, who can read the Malachi 3.10? Malachi 3.10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, but there shall be room enough to receive it. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. So very clear 
the Lord himself, bring ye all the tithes into my storehouse. What is storehouse? The house of the Lord. We bring our tithes here. And prove me, prove me. And now hear it, saith the Lord of hosts. And I will open you the windows of heaven and power you of out of blessings that there shall not be room enough for me. Bring our tithes here in the house of the Lord that they may be meet for the servant of the Lord, our pastor. <coughs> you do believe that the, the pastor is the gift of God? Who can uh, read uh, Jeremiah 3.15? Yes. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Amen. Very clear. The Lord Himself said that He give us pastors according to His heart. To feed us, to, to teach us knowledge and understanding of the Word of God. I want to share us the acronym of the word pastor. Do you know, did you have this already? No. Acronym of the word pastor. One word, six letters. P-A-S-T-O-R. Pastor, is we need to pay for our pastor. Assist our pastor. Support our pastor. Trust our pastor. Obey our pastor. And respect our pastor. Yeah. By God's grace. That's why, if you remember, I, I, I told this already in the pulpit. I decided to enroll myself in uh, Bible school even Saturday only because I want to support my pastor, assist my pastor mm -hmm. in the ministry. So it's very clear. The Lord himself, he said that I will give you pastors, pastors according to my mind, which shall lead, which, 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 which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Very clear. In Tagalog, I memorized this. <laughs> but my, my Bible is uh, Taglis, we call it Taglis, Tagalog, English. So, by God's grace, uh, I did uh, the Lord that we want to do for the, uh, His servant. So, I support my pastor in the Philippines. So, my brothers and sisters, the Lord, do not offend about giving. Who can read the uh, Second Corinthians nine seven? Seven and eight. Love it, and a cheerful giver. Very clear, my brother, serve the Lord. In Romans 10, can you read Romans 3:10 and chapter 10, verse 13 to 14? Romans chapter 10, verse 13 to 14. Okay, read. Yeah, Romans three ten. Yes. As it is written, there is none righteous. No. no not Chap one. Romans chapter ten, verse thirteen to to fourteen. Romans okay. chapter ten, verse thirteen. For yeah. Shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed, and how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? Yeah, Amen. Very clear. How can they be saved without a preacher, without a pastor? 
So that's why we, we need to support our pastor so that they will continue to serve the Lord so that many people will save like us to go in heaven. Do not offend about giving my brothers in the Lord. Giving is the key to open the door of heaven of blessings. Let's go back to Malachi 3.10. It is our uh, text. Okay. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me here with, said the Lord of hosts, I will not open you the windows of heaven and power you out of the blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. My beloved brethren, before we came here in America, we went to different countries in Asia, five Asias, five countries in Asia. We went to Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand, Laos, Hong Kong, China, and Macau. We are not rich, but our God is rich. Very clear, the Lord himself proved me. Malakai 3.10. Prove me. So, by God's grace, me and my wife prove this kind of uh, giving. God is faithful, His promise. We started to give to the Lord. For the Lord during our children they are in elementary and high school but by the grace of God they are all professionals they are in different countries to work God is good Matthew 6 33 seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you Amen. before we spend our uh, salary with my wife God first you put our gift to the Lord, tithes, offering, and mission. Mission is for the missionaries. We help the missionaries by God's grace. And we help the Bible school students. We have three Bible students that we uh, supported during, last, during that time by God's grace. And the two is stay, stay in it. Stay in our, our home, in our house. We support our Bible school by God's grace. We are not rich, but God is rich. Prove me. And we prove. The Bible said, the, the Lord Himself, He said, Prove me. And I will power you of the blessing that there not shall be enough, enough to receive you. So we show the goodness of God. That's why right now, all our children, they teach, they teach them to give for the Lord. Who give work, who give work, who, who give job for us? The Lord. Who give strength? The Lord. Who give uh, protection, wisdom, good health? All of that came from the Lord. All the give of God come from the Lord. Amen? Amen. So, uh, by God's grace, we saw His faithfulness. Some of our classmates and our relatives and our uh, friends in my works, because I worked 39 years in our company during the time. They asked me, how can you support your children for their studying? But even my wife, but she said, only by God's grace. 
Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. God will provide our needs. So I praise God for His goodness to our family. So I will challenge you, my brothers, serve the Lord. That's why before we start, I ask you, whom of you become a uh, Christian from four to ten years old? Because when you are when you are a child, you don't know how to give. But our parents teach us how to give. Amen. So biblical principle, my brothers, said the Lord: give and shall be given. Praise God sa, for the uh, faithfulness of God. First Corinthians nine fourteen. Who want to read? Very clear, very clear, very clear. That's why we need to support our pastors, the servant of the Lord, so that they will continue to serve the Lord, spread the word of God. In Matthew 28:19, who therefore it's always on baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, the kingdom to observe all things. As I have commanded you, and Lord, I am with you even until the end of the world. That's why one day, Lord, I'm here in America. How can I serve you? I don't know how to speak well in English. So the Lord does my heart. I will put my word into my heart. Like, Mo like Moses, like Peter, they are not uh, professionals. But God uses the ordinary people like me. Amen. So, it's very nice to serve the Lord and to give for the Lord, my brother, sister, the Lord, so that the word of God can spread all over the world. So, thank you, my brother, sister, the Lord. Thank you. That was fantastic. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and just give you a couple of thoughts real quick. And, um, Please sort it. I don't know that Brother Moss was able to do this, and uh, I've asked him several times, and he's a little reluctant, but I knew it'd be a blessing to us, and that was absolutely a blessing. Thank you, Brother Tomas. Um, just on a different kind of thought, I think it'd be about five to eight minutes, and, um, and just to give you a little uh, tidbit of truth here. Um, in Deuteronomy chapter 6, Deuteronomy 6 is the most quoted chapter by our Lord. The book of Deuteronomy is the most quoted book of the Lord. Chapter 6 is the book he quotes the most. I believe the most quoted book of the Old Testament for the entire New 